Have you ever wondered how some of the heaviest elements in the universe are made? Well, you are not alone. Scientists have been trying to solve this mystery for decades, and they have just made a breakthrough. They have observed a rare and spectacular event, a powerful explosion that occurred on March 7, 2023, using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. This event is called a kilonova, and it is a powerful explosion that occurs when two neutron stars, the dense remnants of massive stars, smash into each other and create a new black hole. This event also produces a burst of gamma rays, the most energetic form of light, and a cloud of radioactive debris that contains some of the heaviest elements in nature, such as tellurium, iodine, and thorium. These elements are essential for life and technology, but they are so rare that we don't know how they are made or how much they exist in the universe. In this video, we will explore this new observation of this kilonova by the James Webb Space Telescope and how it can help us answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy and astrophysics. So stay tuned and get ready to witness one of the most amazing wonders of nature. The kilonova that we are going to talk about today was named GRB 230307A, which stands for Gamma Ray Burst 230307A. It was first detected by the SWIFT satellite on March 7, 2023. SWIFT is a NASA mission that monitors the sky for gamma ray bursts, which are brief flashes of gamma rays that can last from a few milliseconds to several minutes. Gamma ray bursts are among the most powerful and mysterious events in the universe, but they are also very hard to observe because they are very faint and very fast. Luckily, SWIFT was able to pinpoint the location of this explosion quickly and alert other telescopes to follow up on it. One of these telescopes was the James Webb Space Telescope. Webb was able to observe the explosion within an hour after SWIFT's detection, using its near-infrared camera, NearCam, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. These instruments can capture images and spectra of infrared light at different wavelengths and resolutions. It observed the event for about 10 hours over two days, collecting valuable data on its brightness, color, shape, and composition. What James Webb saw was stunning. The event was one of the brightest gamma ray bursts ever seen, lasting for 34 seconds. It was also one of the closest gamma ray bursts ever seen, at a distance of about 130 million light years from Earth. This means that it happened when dinosaurs roamed our planet. But most importantly, Webb saw something that no other telescope had ever seen before, the clear signature of a kilonova. A kilonova is a rare type of gamma ray burst that is caused by the merger of two neutron stars. Neutron stars are the densest objects in the universe, with masses comparable to the sun, but sizes comparable to a city. They are formed when massive stars explode as supernovas at the end of their lives, leaving behind their collapsed cores. Sometimes, these cores can orbit each other in a binary system, gradually losing energy due to gravitational waves until they collide. When two neutron stars collide, they create a spectacular show of fireworks. First, they emit a short burst of gamma rays that can be seen across the universe. Then, they eject some of their material into space at high speeds, creating a cloud of radioactive debris that glows brightly in infrared light. This cloud is called a kilonova, and it is where some of the heaviest elements in nature are made. So, how do these elements form? Well, it's a process called rapid neutron capture, or R process for short. Basically, what happens is that some of the neutrons from the neutron stars are captured by lighter nuclei, such as iron or nickel, in the debris cloud. These nuclei become unstable and decay into heavier nuclei, such as tellurium, iodine, and thorium. Then they emit radiation that heats up the cloud and makes it shine. But how do we know that these elements are present in the kilonova? Well, we can use their spectral signatures, which is a graph that shows how much light an object emits or absorbs at different wavelengths. Each element has a unique spectrum that acts like a fingerprint, allowing us to identify it. By analyzing the spectra of the kilonova, we can see which elements are there and how much they are. 
Now, let's see. Why are these elements important? Well, for one thing, they are essential for life and technology. For example, tellurium is used in solar cells and memory devices, iodine is used in medicine and nutrition, and thorium is used as a potential source of nuclear energy. But more importantly, these elements are clues to the history and fate of the universe. By measuring how much of these elements exist and how they are distributed, we can learn about the origin and evolution of matter, energy, and life in the universe. So, what can we learn from these kinds of events? Well, a lot. For one thing, we can learn about the origin of the elements. We know that most of the light elements, such as hydrogen and helium, were created in the Big Bang, and most of the medium elements, such as carbon and oxygen, were created in stars. But we don't know how much of the heavy elements, such as tellurium, iodine, and thorium, were created in kilonovas or other processes. By observing more kilonovas, we can estimate how often they occur and how much they contribute to the chemical enrichment of the universe. For another thing, we can learn about the expansion of the universe. We know that the universe is expanding and accelerating due to a mysterious force called dark energy. But we don't know how fast or why. By observing more kilonovas, we can measure their distances and velocities using their spectra and their brightness. This can help us determine the expansion rate and the dark energy equation of state, which are key parameters for understanding the fate of the universe. For yet another thing, we can learn about the nature of gravity. We know that gravity is described by Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicts that massive objects can warp space and time and emit gravitational waves. But we don't know if this theory is complete or if there are other effects beyond it. By observing more kilonovas, we can test general relativity and look for deviations or anomalies that could indicate new physics or dimensions. These are just some of the exciting questions that kilonovas can help us answer. But there are also many challenges and limitations that we face in observing them. For one thing, kilonovas are very rare and unpredictable. We don't know when or where they will happen next, so we have to rely on luck and alertness to catch them. For another thing, kilonovas are very short-lived and faint. They only last for a few days or weeks, and they are easily obscured by dust or gas in their host galaxies. This means that we need powerful and sensitive telescopes like James Webb to observe them. Fortunately, Webb is not alone in this quest. There are other telescopes and instruments that can complement its capabilities and enhance its discoveries. For example, there are gravitational wave detectors such as LIGO and Virgo that can sense the ripples in space-time caused by neutron star mergers. There are also radio telescopes such as SKA and ALMA that can probe the afterglow of gamma ray bursts. And there are many more planned or proposed missions that could join this effort in the future. Together, these observatories form a network of eyes and ears that can scan the sky for kilonovas and other cosmic wonders. By combining their data and insights, we can gain a deeper understanding of our universe and our place in it. We hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments about this topic or any suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.